Hello and happy Friday. Actually, this probably won't get posted. I'll post it tonight, uh, or I'll upload it tonight and post it tonight, and you probably won't see it till tomorrow or unless you stay up late. So, two things. That's in a different place. Why? Because I have a Swift there and the roller there, <laughs> or the cake, the the yarn winder here, and the Swift here. I've been, well, I had like eight to eight cakes to, or eight hanks to cake. I still have two left. I haven't been very diligent, diligent, diligent about winding. Um, I know somebody said, well, you're not supposed to wind the hanks. You're not supposed to cake the hanks. It'll stretch them out, blah, blah, blah. So then I stopped and I'm like, but I want to use them, some of them anyway, and they're not caked. So then I have to pull out the Swift, set it up, pull out the winder, set it up, and then I have to cake it. So I still have two left to do. One, I th actually I think they're both um, Lether Collection uh, Hanks that I have to do, because I did I did all of my savvy skeins, as you'll see in my hands. I, I caked all my savvy skeins and I think I caked, was it two? One for sure, probably two of my Lether because I had four Lether and four savvy skeins that I needed to, to cake. So anyway, um, I have been talking about this top that I, I, holy crap, I don't even know, I don't even remember when I finished it, and I don't even think I wrote it down when I finished it. So, basically, this is kind of like my own pattern. Um, I did the same thing as I've done with a few other tops, as I, um, my, my lace top, my 20 plus 4, back and forth. What I did was I started with the back, went up, and then um, did the one side down to the down to where I wanted it, and then did the other side down and chained over, and then continued back and forth all the way down. I did add. Let me look. Um, I think I added two rows to the side right here. And then I added this to the bottom. This is just double crochets to the bottom. But this is all, it's single half doubles. So it's single one way, half double the other way. Um, the whole, the whole top piece. And then the bottom is like, um, actually, I think the, what did I do? So I did a double and a half double. It's a double half double. And then two rows, I think two rows of singles clear on the bottom. And so I'm gonna back up so you can see it. Hopefully you'll be able to see about the whole thing. Um, I'll take pictures also. But that's what it looks like from the front and the back. Um, if there's yelling, excuse the yelling, he's playing games, whatever. So, I finished this, I I don't even remember when I started it. So I got the, the yarn in April and I did a yarn haul and showed it off in April, the beginning of April. Um, and then um, I started it, when did I start it? I don't even remember when I started it. Really, seriously, I don't. I've been so busy. <laughs> incredibly busy and I haven't been crocheting a whole lot so this sat for a long time and I finally got it finished uh, I think it was last month sometime maybe yeah it's it's back there I, I said that I got it finished and I wanted to wait to show it off because I wanted to wash it before I showed it off because it was all like that <laughs> um, seriously it was like that the yeah I wanted to wash it first, hang it to dry. 
I don't block if it's garments. I wash it. I hang it to dry. If it's blankets, I wash it and mostly dry it and then lay it, kind of lay it out on the back of the couch usually. <laughs> Probably not a good idea, but whatever. Um, otherwise, so I, I finish this top and then, because I drive a lot, um, I drive a whole lot right now. Um, so I decided to make glo uh, fingerless gloves, but I wanted them. These are uh, Lether Collection August pattern, these gloves. Um, the yarn was the Neapolitan, the ice cream yarn. Um, but I decided instead of using, because that's a size three, right? no, 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 it was it was four. It was a worsted. So it was a worsted weight, and I didn't want to use that. So I decided to use my Savvy Skeins. Simply Sock. So this is the uh, it's not the Stargate. Stargate's the other ones. Um, Galaxy Quest. These are the Galaxy Quest. And this is what it looks like. I love these, although they need to be like almost to the elbow, um, cause I do wear short sleeve shirts, but I don't want to wear like a long sleeve because it would be too hot to wear a long sleeve. So longer gloves would be awesome, but these are, these are so cool to drive in. And not only that, if your hands get cold from the air conditioning, they work for that. And if your steering wheel's hot, but your arms don't get cold from the air conditioning, shorten them up and use them just for your hands. So just the size of the pattern so it was yeah just the size of the pattern and then your hands aren't going to get hot on the steering wheel maybe your fingertips but your palms aren't going to get hot on the steering wheel that's exciting so there's the first pair actually this is the third pair that i made the first pair that i'm showing you so that's those and again this is a hundred percent no, it isn't. It's 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. So it is, um, it is stretchy. Um, so here's the second pair. And this is the Stargate, not Stargate. Yeah. Oh. That was Galaxy Quest. Here's the Stargate. So this is the Stargate color. And... Dang it, I didn't read that comment from Allie the other day. Darn it. Okay, so here is the Galaxy Quest. Stargate, 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 Stargate. <laughs> Go nuts. Okay, so here's the Stargate. So, and again, this is the 8020. Now the next one, I can't, I don't remember what it is. I know the blend, sort of. <laughs> Okay, so this is DK. No, it isn't. It's sock. Sorry. This is so this is also sock. But this is, I believe it's Superwash Merino Bamboo. So I think, and I'm not sure if it's 80-20 or if it's, it's 90-10. I cannot remember. So for any of you Letherbox people, you'll know. So this was um, this month's. Not this month's, because this is October. Hello. <laughs> this year's been going like... I swear, this has been the longest year of everybody's life. <laughs> it's only one year and it feels like five. Okay, so anyway. So this is the um, the Peacock Feather Color from Leather Collection. And it is the sock yarn. I believe it's sock yarn. And it, it, it's either 80-20 or 90-10 Super Wash Merino Bamboo. So that's what this is. And I love the effect that it gives. It's so cool. Like, from far away, it looks like it scales, but it's really not. So cool. So, um, I haven't worn the last two pair driving, so really exciting seeing what those are like. I'm sure they're all the same, though. But yeah, um, so I did that. And I haven't decided whether I want to 
stick them in the car because I have a whole huge bag of masks that I made for me, my kids, and a few for my mom. I, I've made her several, but I only have, I think, one for her in the car. And then she also has some in her, in her carry bag when we go out. So, um, but I have like, I don't know, two for one kid that doesn't ever want to go with me and like five for the other kid that always wants to go. Um, or wants to go more than the other kid. <laughs> Just put it that way. But um, I have all my masks in there. I put them in a plastic bag, have them in the car. If I, you know, when I leave, I take one out use it and bring it inside when I come home put it in the basket although I do think I need a um, what is it one of those mesh laundry bags I think I need one of those to put the masks in it's not to keep the lenties out it's to keep them all in one separate thing They'll get washed and then they'll get mixed in with the clothes and I don't like that because then I have to search for them. I do use lint rollers to lint roll the masks because they are so full of lint. Most of them, I mean, they're all cotton, but they're all different types of cotton. And let me just tell you, I have what what the fabric store deemed as African print cotton. Now I'm not sure that that's what exactly really what it is, but that cotton does not get linty. Not at all. All the other cotton gets linty. So I don't know. It is what it is. It's awesome material. It doesn't get linty and I love it, but it's like a minty green with spot. It's almost a batik coloring uh, fabric. So I don't use it very much because I don't like. Here's my here's my oldest son's bag. So there's he has 15 masks. He has like 13 in here and two in the car. My other son, I don't know how many he has, and. Sometimes he doesn't come home with them. If he's outside with them, sometimes he doesn't come home with them. So whether he leaves them at somebody's house or he gives them to one of his friends, I don't care which. I'd rather it, well, whichever. But um, So anyway, this is getting kind of long and I'm just rambling. So another thing that I'm working on is a knitting project that's not a knitting project. <laughs> um... Somebody on Instagram is doing an, uh, a 9 4 hat to combat the ACDA. No, A, 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 B, A, B. No, A, C, A, B. There we go. All the A cab um, hats that are going around on Ravelry. So she decided that she was going to do a knit along with the same pattern but a thin blue line i tried the pattern i thought i had it knocked out and i didn't i think i have the wrong kind of yarn um well i bought yarn so i bought black um homeland heartland homeland just a minute i don't know what it is <laughs> Heartland, this stuff. So I bought this. Black Canyon. And then this is Olympic. Olympia. Olympic. So I, st I still have until the 4th to get it done. I haven't worked that much on it. I've been trying to figure out the star on the top because the, the ACAB hat over on Ravelry which was free is not now free and I am not 
I don't even know who, who makes the hat or who made the pattern. Um, it was free and because Tina decided to do the 9-11-10-4 hat or make along, um, the person decided to charge for the pattern. So a bunch of the knitters, I don't know how many, are doing the eight the 9-11-10-4 hat um, either with Tina's fabric fabric yarn Tina's yarn or yarn of their choosing well I had started it in Savvy Skeen's yarn and I thought I had it down and then I transferred it and started it in the in the four weight now Savvy Skeen's is like a one or two weight this other is a four weight and it just didn't look right and it was curling up in weird places and I'm sure it would be just fine if I would have just done it and let it go whatever <laughs> I didn't and so I still have the hat to finish and I'm gonna put some decorations on it whatever so um, oh, what else that's it I'm not doing anything else no well, the, well I started a doll and I'm about up to the hips that's it and I started her like almost a month ago. Um, she was a make along also, but I didn't, I didn't pay for the pattern. She was a free pattern on the website with ads, and then paid pattern without ads. Which whatever, that's fine. But um, I think I've passed my doll making stage. I really like making the clothes, but I hate making clothes. Believe me. Um, which reminds me, I really need to get finished doing something because if we're going to go somewhere in a couple weeks, I've got to have that done so I can take it with me. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, it's like really hot in here. So hot. Um, let's see, what else? Is there anything else to talk about? Um, I don't think so. Um, so I didn't read the, I, at the beginning of this, I said I didn't read the message that Allie had sent me. So she's, this month, this month's cult classics. Now this month starts the, um, Stranger Things six month. Uh, yarn Club over at Savvy Skeins. So if you want to check that out, go check it out. But this month's cult classic is a Tim Burton. And when I saw what the yarn looked like, I thought of one because I don't know a whole lot of... Th I, I knew it was a Tim Burton and I knew it had Johnny Depp in. The only movie that I know or that I thought was a Tim Burton with Johnny Depp in was Edward Scissorhands. I haven't seen Sweeney Todd again. I have not seen a whole lot of these movies that she's doing, which is fine. That's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> but when she asked, you know, what people thought, everybody said Sweeney Todd, and I said Edward says her hand. So we'll see. Um, I think he also. I don't is I don't know if Tim Burton's in the Corpse Bride. I'm not sure. If he voices in The Corpse Bride. Um, I don't know if he voices in Nightmare on... Uh, the Night Nightmare Before Christmas. Is that what it is? I don't know if he voices in that either. Um, and I can't think of any other Tim Burton movies like off the top of my head. Because whatever. So. Anyway. Yay. Um. Anything else? Do I have anything else? I don't think that I do. Um, I don't think so. Um, I think what I'm, what I might do, or what I said I was gonna do, 
or what I've been thinking about doing is making several of those because those don't even use one skein but making several of those out one pair out of all of my specialty skeins that I have enough yarn of um so we'll see the the thinner kind not the thick thick kind because I don't need thick ones I really don't I mean probably in the winter I would but not even I don't get the cold in the water well occasionally it gets down to like in the teens for two minutes <laughs> but not not a whole lot um so what else uh, I don't think so I don't think I have anything so um I will be back I will upload another video by the end of this next week because I will have my savvy schemes that goes out tomorrow actually no billings tomorrow it goes up probably will go out on Monday unless she has it done and I, I know she does at least have a few done so um, I don't know if it's gonna go out tomorrow if it's gonna go out on tomorrow or um Monday tomorrow well she may take them to the post office on Sunday and drop them off I but I doubt it the post office is not open so they may go out tomorrow they may go out Monday and I probably won't get them uh, until the end of the week for sure for sure um so but yeah and then I get Lether I'll change or something Can you believe that it's October already? Right? Okay. So, and then it will be well into the next, between the 19th and the 23rd, that I get um, my Lether. Unless she mails it on the 10th like she did last month. Which was kind of cool. <laughs> um, so. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. This is just full of rambling. Happy Saturday. Happy yarning. Bye.